here. I've got a charity shop haul for you. I just wanted to start off by apologising for having taken so long to make a video. I think it's been maybe nearly two weeks. But when I tell you the story, you'll realise why. It all started with during the day with my daughter brushing my hair in my hall. I have a sort of chandelier light and it hangs on a chain and it's sort of slightly low. So she was brushing her hair. She lifted her arm up and hit the chandelier, which then blew all the bulbs in the chandelier. So that's fine. You'll see why this is connected in a minute. So let's skip to later on that night. I have a puppy. She weed in the hall. I did not see said wee because the lights were out and it was dark. So walked out on my way, gone upstairs, slid on the dog wee, landed in a puddle of dog wee all up my back and whatnot. And then, yeah, my foot, as I slid, my foot went into the stair. And then this. Yes, now I'm stuck with this lovely thing on my leg. I broke my big toe and broke my big toe quite badly and then broke a tiny little bone in my foot just ever ever so slightly. I don't need a cast on it but I do need to wear this really uncomfortably heavy really ugly boot thing but anyway so that's what happened. So I've kind of got an excuse so I'm sorry. So we'll get started. Mark was at the charity. This is I'm filming this on Thursday. Mark was at the charity shop last Friday. He'll also be going to the charity shop and picking me up some goodies tomorrow, so I'll film that. And just to make it up for not having made a video in a while, I'll film several videos over the next few days just to make it up to you. So first thing I got, there's just a couple of little things for the house and I'll show you them first. The first thing is this, uh, or these even. I only brought one up to show you what they look like. I think they're, they're it's either a set of six or a set of eight, I'm not sure. And they're these dainty, tiny little cups. They are so cute. They look like this. They've got sort of gold all around them and the little flowers. And then the little flowers on that. And then the little gold handle. They're so tiny and cute. And like I said, I think there was six or eight of them. He paid £3 for it in the charity shop. And it also came with... Sorry about this. I hope it makes a noise. It also came with a little sugar dish like that. So cute. And it came with the little milk jug like that. What I might do is, you know, when you do the candles and you pour the wax and the wick into the little teacups and make candles, I might do that with a couple of the cups because really, in real life, like, who is going to use that? It is tiny, like, really teeny weeny. You just would not see a tea or coffee. It's probably a coffee set, actually, because it's so small. But still, I like a big cup of coffee, so... Probably won't actually use them. I'll use them either for decoration or make little candles out of them. But the last thing for the house is just this little glass dish. I've said before, I've got this kind of obsession with little insect things. I've got all pictures of them and things around my house. And he got me this. The, these are more like kind of cute cartoony type insects. There are these little bumblebees all over it. It's just a little glass dish. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this yet. Might set up my coffee table with some little like sweets or something in it. This was 49 pence and I don't know, I just thought it was really cute. So got that and the next things I've got are clothes and I've got three handbags and one of the handbags is awesome. I'll save that to the end. So the clothes that, well, I'm saying the clothes I got. I didn't actually pick any of these. Mark picked them all for me. I kind, there's one thing I'm not sure about, but the rest I, I like. And the good thing about Mark getting me stuff from the charity shop is he kind of picks me up stuff that, although I do like it, it's not something I would have picked myself. So it's always something kind of different. So I like it. Wait, I'll move this little set so it doesn't clank about every time I'm showing stuff. So this is a little dress from, well, apparently there's no label on it. Give me a second and I'll tell you what it's from. It's originally from Next. It's a size 8 and it just looks like this. It's a little sort of summery type dress like that. Sits quite a wee bit above my knee like this. And it's got the, it comes quite low down but not too low cut. It's a kind of weird material. I don't know if you can see that. It's almost kind of like crinkly kind of material. It's got sort of striped love hearts on it and it's a sort of corally orange type colour. I thought that would be really nice for the summer. Do you know what I'm gutted about? I have got so many pairs of flip flops and sandals and I'm probably not going to be able to wear them because I have to keep this thing on for about six weeks. So yeah, no flip flops for me. Gutted. 
this is the next thing, this shiny dazzling thing is the thing I wasn't too sure about. I actually thought, Mark bought it thinking it was a skirt. It, I'll show you, it's definitely not a skirt. Um, where am I? This way round. You can see, I don't know how you thought that was a skirt, what this bit would have been for then. It's a little boob tube, what I thought was a boob tube top, but I tried it on. I've washed all this stuff um, and I tried this on and I kind of think it's kind of a dress. I probably wouldn't wear it as a dress. In fact, I've got another thing in there that I would, po I would possibly wear with it. It's not, I think it's one of these things I maybe wear once and then not wear it again. I'm not entirely sure. It's a bit sort of 80s disco sort of, I don't know. It's kind of... There's something kind of nice about it, I don't know. All these clothes you got me, sorry, so that dress was a pound, all the clothes are a pound. And yeah, I told you what the price of other stuff was. This is just from Atmosphere and it's a size 10. So it's just pre-mark brand. It looks like this and it's very shiny. Next thing I got was this. This is just really plain. It's a yellow super dry t-shirt and it just looks like that. But for a pound, it's quite good. Super dry can be kind of expensive. I know because my daughter gets t-shirts from there all the time so there's that and in fact I think I'm pretty sure yeah I'll just quickly show you this because it's kind of boring another super dry t-shirt this one's a sort of thicker material and yeah just looks like this has a little pocket in the front but good for chucking on my pair of jeans or shorts in the summer so next thing you got me this I really like the colours and the patterns in this this is from New Look it looks like this it's I don't know if it's coming out it's really quite bright it's lace but it's really really see-through I would wear that and it's very cropped I wouldn't wear this as cropped I would wear this with maybe like a little black vest top underneath it with shorts or jeans or a skirt or something but yeah I would definitely wear something underneath it and I think the black would make the colors really stand out rather than wearing the white underneath it so there's that and this is I was actually going to do a try on video. I was going to do the showing you the stuff and trying it on, but I'm sure everything's going to look awful with this massive boot I've got on, and I would be sort of hobbling to try and stand up and do it, and it just would be, it would not be good. So, next thing you got me is this. It's this Nike top like this. It's pink, it's just like a sort of workout kind of t shirt. I really do no exercising whatsoever, but sometimes I like to look like I do. So, there's that. And the other thing you got me is this. I should have tied this at the back. It's got a big long tire thing that ties at the back. It's this. It's got a sort of oriental type look to it. It's got big kind of ready pinkishy kind of flowers all over it. The collar that goes down the neckline is like a sort of silky material and it's got the silky bow and that ties in the back. I tried this. So I wasn't too sure about this but I tried it on and it's actually really nice on. Nicer on than it is off. And the next thing is this. This is just plain as well. It's just a little what brand is it? Uh, Lecoq Sportif. And it's just a little vest top like that. It's got is that the muscle back? Is that what you call it? It's got that at the back. It's just plain. It's black. I might wait. It looks like it might be a little bit too big for me, but I might wear it as a jammy top or something. So there's that. And this next one is from I don't even know what way down this is. There we go. This is from Next, and it looks like this. It's really soft, cottony material. It's like the, I can't even see what I'm showing you, like bat wing sort of thing. It's got little embroidery detail on the front, and yeah, it just looks like it would be really loose and flowy and cool and comfy for the summer. The background is a sort of khaki kind of greeny colour, and I like that colour. So yeah, there's that. And there's two more clothing items, and then it's on to the hand. I don't know if you've got this by now, but I love handbags. So let's have a look. This is, where are you from? This is from H&M. And it's this sort of, I think I'll call this a sort of teal colour. Sort of teal with kind of grey kind of through it, like this. It's just super, super casual. It's got a little rolled up sleeve. And it's just casual. I absolutely love these tops. I wear them all the time. I love that kind of thing. And I really like that colour. So, yay! And the next thing you got me, the last piece of clothing you got me, are the things that I was saying I could probably wear with that sequins kind of top dress thing. And they're just these. They're from River Island. Like I said, all the clothes were a pound. Um, and they're that. They're just like faux 
leathery kind of looking leggings but they're so soft and so stretchy and I think they'll be so comfy and go with so many things. I've got three handbags to show you so this one looks like this it's a sort of minty colour oh I sat the other handbags on top of it and it's creased it a little bit hopefully that'll come out anyway it's like it looks like this it's got two little buckles on the front it's a little sort of satchel type thing the pattern on it is birds and palm trees and cocktails and oranges and lemons. Looks like that. And the inside, let's have a look. The inside is like a kind of sweaty material. This is from Zara Girls, which I'm assuming is like the kids section, but I really don't care because I will be rocking this this summer. A little pouch in the front. Yeah, I just think it's a cute kind of fun summery bright bag so got that oh this did i say this was two pounds no it wasn't two pounds it was 2.99 there we go the next bag is absolutely massive this was two pounds i don't really understand how that this one was two two pound and that other one was 2.99 i don't know but it's this one this is from the this is from june and this bag is totally flawless it has got no marks no stains no nothing nothing on the hardware it's got gold hardware like this yeah it's just a big kind of slouchy casual big bag i like it it's got this weird detail in the front so at first I, this is like a belt and at first i had it came like this and then i undid it thinking that the belt was meant to sort of fasten like about this but yeah it turns out this bit here doesn't fit into this bit here so it's actually meant to look like that is a little bit weird and that just makes me like it more because I'm a whole lot weird and the next bag I got is the one I'm most excited about now I don't know for definite if this is real but quite honestly I don't really care I really like the bag if it isn't real it is still made of it's definitely real leather and it is the softest nicest leather so even if it's not real I really like it but I did look up online, just out of interest, like how you can tell the fake ones and the real ones. And this actually does sort of tick all the boxes for being real. So I'm kind of thinking it's real, but I don't really know. And again, I don't really care, to be honest with you. This is a Prada bag. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is the softest, squishiest leather ever. It also came with this shoulder strap with it, but I took it off because I don't really like it with the shoulder strap. And they also say Prada. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. They say Prada and stuff on them. It is, yeah, just a slouchy bag. So I'm just going to use this handle here. It does have some wear and tear in this bag. Whoever's had it either had it for a very long time or didn't really look after it because yeah there's just you can see where it's been worn but there's still plenty of life in it and the inside it looks like this it's a sort of cream interior it's got um yeah it says prada all over the inside of it it's got the little badge in there that says prada and yeah i just whether it's prada or whatever it is it's just lovely leather and i absolutely love it obviously bonus if it's real and yeah, I just really like it, no matter what make it is. And this was $7.99. So that is the end of my haul. Thank you so much for watching. And I want to say a really huge hello to uh, one of my subscribers called Lana. She is a very special little girl. She is nine years old. And I just wanted to tell you, Lana, that I have got some goodies coming your way. So I'm going to get them for you. I'm sort of making up a little bag of goodies for you. So I will get them to you very soon. And yes, thank you very much for watching everybody and I will have several more videos out in the next few days hopefully to make up for the fact that I took so long to get this one up. So see you later. Bye!